My name is Scott Fisk and in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to use the FTP program within Dreamweaver to upload and download files. We're also going to talk about how to set it up. So let's get started. I'm in Dreamweaver. I'm going to go to Site, Manage Site, and I'm going to set a new site up. That's this button in the lower right hand corner, clicking on New Site. And I'm just going to type in a description here. It can be anything that describes the website to you. A lot of times I'll put the domain name in, in that spot. And then we're going to click on the folder where all of the files are located. So all my files are located in this website folder. Hit choose. Now I'm going to click on the second button over on the left. It's called servers. And this is where we really set up the important stuff, the FTP information. I'm going to click plus. We're going to put a description in here. We're going to put the website address in next. Sometimes the FTP address is something similar to ftp.thedomainname.com. Mine just happens to be different than that. Next, you're going to put in the username. And then lastly, we're going to put in the password. And Dreamweaver has this wonderful testing capability, which really comes in handy. Click this button, and it'll let you know whether or not it works. Mine worked well. If this ever doesn't work, it's usually that your password's incorrect or your username. Uh, so just if you ever have problems getting this process to work, log in to your hosting account and just make sure that these three key pieces of information are correct, or you can just call your hosting company and ask them. If you're absolutely sure that you've put all this stuff in correctly, and you happen to be working at a, at a larger business that might have a big firewall, you can click on this button, and sometimes that will make it work. So at this point, we're done. We're gonna hit save, save. It's uh, just scanning all of my files that are in that website folder at this point. And the next thing we're going to do is uh, just exit out of the setup process and load up the FTP program where we can upload and download files. I'm going to hit done. And the next window that we're going to is the file window, which is located right here. Just make sure that's clicked. Here's my files window. This little button on the far right says expand to show local and remote sites. So we want to click on that, and that allows us to see all of our local files on our computer on this side and all of the remote files over on this side. And it says to see the remote files, click this button, which is this button right here. And this is going to allow us to connect to our remote server. We're connected. So this is all my files on my, my local computer, and this is all the stuff on the remote side. I'm going to click on Domains, and I have lots of different websites listed here. Uh, you know, a lot of times, this is going to vary based on your hosting server, you know, where your files are. A lot of times, you'll click on one of these things, and it's going to have like an HTML folder. Usually when you go into a, an HTML folder, it's going to have different files in it, such as uh, your home page files, images, and so on. If I wanted to upload something to this particular folder, all I would have to do is click on the image or the file and drag it across. And that file is now there. If I wanted to download this file back to the computer, I could drag it across the other direction and it comes back. We can also create new folders, which is really handy. I could click on this folder, control click, and just say new folder. And really that's it. Thank you very much.